We're at the hatchery portion of our program here and it's springtime, month of May, which obviously means it's fry season and we're going to meet the fry right now as we look in these tanks here and we're looking at coho salmon that reside in fresh water for a full year. So they'll be here all summer right through the fall, next winter. And by winter they will have outgrown these metal tanks and they will get the boot and end up over there in those larger ponds. There are some coho out there now that are a year and a half old and they are getting ready to go to the ocean. You may or may not see them jumping over there. It just means they're really excited, they're feeding like mad and it's time to go. We would turn the clock back to fall and try to provide an update on the seasonal things that happen here where the salmon come in from the 240th fence either they reside in the metal tanks we just saw or those big planetarium looking things over there and we will want to give the students kind of a sense of what happens here when the eggs come in where do they go and of course they're in these our little incubators here those are actually plastic beads the real things are in that room there which of course is empty right now being the month of May. Eggs would be in there from October through to about uh, March or so. We can go through the process of eggs getting fertilized and here's the egg take process. If we were here in November we might be able to show the students this for real but what we have in the spring is we'll have to do it through our photos with eggs coming out of the female getting fertilized by the male and we're going to compare that to the process that happens out on the creek in nature. That foam there in salmon egg language means hey guys we're alive we just got born. See when eggs come out of the female they're not alive or dead either. They have to be fertilized to come to life, incubate in the gravel and get ready to go during the month of May. So one of the things to talk about, two things actually, what's the difference between a fish hatchery like this and a fish farm? Well basically speaking fish farms are to feed people and feeding people is a great thing. This is here to feed nature and we can introduce our students to a really fancy word called extirpated. What does that mean? Well, you know, you go to the grocery store on Saturday, right? And your folks buy a big box of chocolate chip cookies. By Monday, they're completely gone. And if you ask who's had that happen, a bunch of hands come up. So those cookies aren't extinct. They still exist on planet Earth, but just not in your house anymore. And that's what extirpated means. So we want to keep some of these fish safe to make sure that salmon never get extirpated from Maple Ridge. And we will close this part of the video by looking at our hatchery bench over there, which was redone by a fellow named Cecil Taze, and all he was was something like 90-something years old. Amazing. So we'll catch up with you briefly down at the ponds.